important to everybody. I find that uh, reading is a very relaxing thing to do, and of course there are not many of you that are sitting sort of halfway through your work days. I find myself here uh, with your feet up, surrounded by the wilderness, uh, with a book to read. Now the reason I'm reading this... Oh no, that's really irritating. The reason I'm reading this book, of course, is not just because I was wanting to read the book, but because there was a skink that was here, but it has been replaced, Fergus, with a wasp. Can you see the wasp? Indeed. It is a starling blue wasp. And I wonder if it isn't perhaps bringing some caterpillars to put inside those very old impala horns. Look at that, that's fantastic. Ah, good. Well, skink, you can go and do whatever it is that you were doing. We're going to watch Mrs. Waspy. Now, I suspect she's probably carrying either a little bit of mud, maybe a small caterpillar and she's gone inside there and with any luck will come out and sting Fergus on the ear which will result in much comedy <laughs> not so Fergus mm -hmm. uh, oh, here she comes hello what is your name hmm? huh? you don't have a name Wilmina oh Wilmina the wasp well, Mina, that's not a very attractive name, but it'll do. You are a wasp, after all. Okay, she's gone. Now, let's see if we can't find the skink. <laughs> yes, there... Mm. No, that's not him. I think he... He was such a really a beautiful example of a variable skink. Anyway, I'm going to keep trying to find him. I know this is a slightly compromising position, so I'm going to get out of it, and while I do that, Byron is going to show you a bird that goes Everybody, and I'm just trying to see what she's carrying. She's being very confiding. She's obviously got used to us. And what she's doing, for those of you who don't know much about wasps, which is most of us, She's creating herself a nest for little ones, which will eventually be born as things that look like, I guess, little worms. And she'll supply them. I don't know exactly what species she is, either with very small spiders or probably with caterpillars. And she'll push them into these the cells, the ready-made cells that there are in the skull. And then she'll probably seal them, seal the little cavities with mud having laid her eggs either on or inside the caterpillars which will be paralysed. I have very seldom had a wasp sighting like this. They normally fly away much too quickly and they don't have that... You don't sort of get a chance to appreciate the spectacular starling blue colours that they are. And of course if you try and catch that, it will result in a very serious amount of pain. She will definitely sting with her modified ovipositor. And wasps, of course, unlike bees, are able to sting repeatedly because they don't lose half their insides every time they sting you. They inject you with a little bit of poison. I think this is fantastic. I don't, I'm going to try and identify what species of wasp she is. I'm not quite sure at this stage. Let's just see if her, her come out again. See what she does there. And while we wait for her to do that, I think it's beholden on me to tell you that uh, we found no further tracks this morning. I seem to have lost the thread of that story this morning. No further tracks of the leopards. Uh, except to say that we think Hosanna went off towards Bivoltuk Dam uh, yesterday and then back down south towards Twin Dams. So maybe he's around there somewhere. I know Byron and Taylor are around that area. Isn't that wonderful? I think she'll go off again and either pick up a caterpillar or pick up some mud. And you can actually see the tracks of these animals. You can see them. If you go down to a muddy water hole like Twin Dams, uh, or even smaller pans, much easier. Oh, quickly, let's go across to the dam cam.